Hi, today is July 1st, and today's lesson is going to cover how to build a trade ideas window that shows you stocks that are breaking out above the 8 period simple moving average on a 5 minute chart. This may sound complicated, but it's actually very easy to do. So let's show you what it looks like first, and then we will show you how we set it all up. This window right here um, at the lower right hand corner of the screen is already titled Stocks Crossing Above the 8 Period SMA on a 5 Minute Chart. You would have to basically name this window yourself. But as I scroll through the stocks, and here you can see the 8 period 5 minute SMA in light blue against the back bla black ground. Um, you can see this uh, that every stock that, that comes across it will be just above that moving average. Again, it may sound complicated, but it's pretty easy to do. So right now I'm going to show you how to set this up. Today, in this lesson, we are using the trade ideas that's embedded inside the Medved Quote Tracker application. You can use trade ideas standalone to get the exact same results. I right click and I select the configure option. This brings up the configure alerts menu and you can see the current settings. So let's go right to the filters where the power of trade ideas resides and show you how we set this up. I right click on the filters in the previous menu and it takes me right to what's selected. We have a minimum price of $5 and a maximum price of 150 That's not relevant for the scans, but we just try to keep it so that people can relate uh, to general filter settings that they may have. We don't have any spread or uh, bad print filter filters on this one because we're not using it as a trading system. We, had a, we have a minimum volume today of 100,000, just so that you can see some results. And then we're going to scroll right down to where the information is. Again, I'm kind of scrolling through various filters that Trade Ideas has to show you there's a lot of combinations that can be used to create almost any type of situation that you are looking for. And what we're doing today is we're using the filters that deal with uh, simple moving averages for different time frames. And they should be coming up very shortly. Okay, here they are. As I'm scrolling to about the last, uh, the lower 10 to 15 percent of the filters, notice we have one that's called min up 8 period SMA and there's options for a 2 minute, a 5 minute, and a 15 minute. Okay, so this is very easy. Again, what this basically says is how much does the stock have to be up above its 8 period SMA on a 5 minute chart and I said it has to be very close to it just uh, one one hundredth of a percent okay so 0.01 and then to make sure that it's tight and not too far away I then go to the maximum counterpart that's just scrolling down a little bit for every filter we have a minimum and a maximum so the minimum up from the 8 period SMA on a 5 minute chart is 0.01 okay and the maximum for the 8 period SMA on a 5 minute chart is 0.05 that's 1 100th minimum and 5 100th of a percent maximum that just means that it's very very close to the 8 period um, moving average on a 5 minute chart now Let's take a look at what alert we're using to show you the thrust up. I go to the strategies tab so you can tell and here you can see number one all of the settings for the window but notice this alert it's called the running up alert and this basically shows you all stocks that are making a decent move on a one minute chart so this is the trigger the alert running up so the stock is running up and the filters tell you exactly what it's doing. So it's running up right through the um, 8 period moving average on a 5 minute chart. So I'm going to close this window and now let's take a look. A couple of new ones have come across since we've done it. MFLX, I click 
and with a single click both the charts update and here again you can see it it's right there and RGA once again the idea here is that trade ideas helps you find these situations so that, that you don't have to continuously uh, either write formulas or scan yourself to figure out where is the exact uh, move that you're looking for. So again, we're just trying to offload the heavy duty quantitative processing so that you can focus more on the trading. And using filters and alerts, it's very easy to model almost any situation using trade ideas. And this concludes today's lesson on how to make a window for showing stocks crossing above the 8 period SMA on a 5 minute chart.